One of the most iconic original six franchises, the second most cups in league history. We're in Toronto, the home of the Leafs. Centers are lined up, official ready to drop the puck. The Leafs kick things off by winning the opening faceoff, and here we go. Toronto's on the attack. Takes a shot, and that caroms off a body in the lane. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. There's a shot. Oh, and he keeps it out of the net as it goes off the glove. Well, this save was way more difficult than it looked, James. I mean, there's so much traffic in front that he's fighting through to see, and he finds the puck to make the save. Shesterkin's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Lots of time left in this period. Still scoreless in this one. The Rangers win it in the defensive zone. And he takes the feed. Knocked away. Taken by Riley. Moves the puck back inside his own end. Toronto's got it against the boards. Feeds the cross ice pass to Kreider. Gaining steam inside the neutral zone. Jones hammers a shot stuffs him again Good save by Jones we'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up big face off coming up here in the offensive zone well after that last shift with sustained pressure you know that the goaltender is fatigued you gotta find ways to get pucks to the net quick shot denies him on the one timer oh what reaction Taken along the wall by Bertuzzi. Moves it to Nylander. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Slides it across to Truba. Taken here by Trocek. That's blocked. And he takes the feed. And that's knocked away by Miller. New York's got the puck. Looking to make something happen along the boards. A chance in front! Monster blocker stopped by Jones. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. The Rangers have it now. Moves it quickly over to Goodrow. Fires it! You'll need more than that to beat him. Puck is frozen and we get a stoppage in play. Lots of time left in this period. The game is still scoreless. Goodrow's won the draw, and they'll look to set up. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Quick feed to Lilgren. Sends the pass over. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. The Rangers will play it in their own end. Quick pass to Schneider. Slick feed. Here's a short pass to VC. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. The Rangers win that offensive zone face off. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. And that's blocked away. Now over to Brody. He carries the puck up along the wing. Brody's got it deep in the offensive end. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Puck grabbed by Gustafson. Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. And now it's grabbed by Gregor. And that one's turned away. How many times have we seen this save before from him, James? I mean, he loves the butterfly position. He's real mobile in his crease, and he makes the save. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Shesterkin. Fox is good at me. 
making accurate passes with his tape-to-tape -tape zone ability. It's how he sets up his teammates for success. Matthews uses a quick shot to score after deking towards the blue paint with his shock and awe zone ability. One of these players is going to help give their team the upper hand tonight. Guys, back to you. Works it across to Fox. Great read to break up the play. Centering feed. And that's intercepted. Dishes it to Wheeler. From the point, they take control of it. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still looking for our first goal. The Leafs come up with the defensive zone draw. Toronto's ready to go on the attack. The Leafs will play it against the wall. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Marner's a playmaker and a good one at that, guys. He sees the ice so well, but it's his deceptive passing that can create chances for his squad. We call that his third eye zone ability, and it's how he contributes offensively. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Pass across to Lindgren. Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. Takes the pass. The Leafs take it along the wall. And he puts that one aside with ease. Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. The Leafs take possession off the faceoff. Oh, how did that stay out? It goes on the inside of the post. Shesterkin's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Quick pass across to Panarin. Oh, what a violent collision there. He just got railroaded. Closed space so fast and just taken down. Broken up by Miller. Inside his own end moves the puck. And here's the pass to Panarin. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Through center along the wing. Here they are on the attack. Just an easy pass saved made by Shesterkin. Oh, wow, stops him again. Oh, man, he's so dialed in. Makes consecutive saves there and keeps his team in it. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We're still scoreless. Goodrow's won the faceoff. From the left side, they gain the zone. Moves it to the middle, and that's stopped. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Tremendous sacrifice laying out to block it. The Leafs played along the wing. Moves it to the middle. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Picked up along the wall by Truba. Slides the puck across to Vesey. The Leafs get a hold of it. Moves the puck along the half wall. Pokes it away in his own end. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. The Leafs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Slides it back to the blue line. Oh, what a save on the slapper! Shesterkin's an impressive and actually graceful goalie. He knows how to slide well down to make the save. That mobility is his butterfly effect zone ability. Toronto's won the draw. Moves it to Riley. Here's a chance. Scores! And Leafs Nation is rocking! The well, pass reception is also about the pass itself here, James. And when you have a great pass, you're able to handle it. You can get it off quickly.
The Leafs slam the game's first goal here in the first half of the opening frame. Well, yeah, and I really like their game, James. It's not just about getting on the board first, but I like the way they've established a forecheck and they've held possession. I think they've done a real good job. They've had a consistent effort. Now they've got to find a way to finish the back half of this period the same way. Poked away in the defensive end. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Well, you're down a goal. You can't generate any offense if you're shorthanded. They're going to have to be opportunistic, find a way to kill it off, and then reset the momentum. Toronto sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. They're getting their first power play opportunity in the game, and here comes the top power play unit in the league. They're so dangerous and effective. It is extremely difficult to fend against them. Gets it out of his own end. Here he is all alone, right in the open ice. Oh, it denies him on the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. And makes the save. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Makes it look easy with the stop. In the game of hockey, you know that your opponent is told to attack and drive the net and really get in the eyes of the tender. And for the goaltender, it's really important when there's a lot of traffic in front to make sure they have their eyes. So it's out battling, out working your opponent for those sight lines. He does an impressive job of making that save. Sends it across. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. And they manage to clear it. The Leafs get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Gustafson. And they get that puck down the ice. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Big play inside the defensive zone. There he is from the slot. Gives them nothing in front. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Trocek's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the face-off. New York's won the defensive zone draw. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Across the line from center. Quick shot. Scores! Well, putting the special and special teams. It's a power play tally. Well, it's all about specialty teams, and it often makes a difference. And right now, there was pass execution, and they found a way to attack the net. I can't believe the time he had to walk into that one, James. He just lets it rip. Slap shot, low stick side, beats the goalie clean. Nearing the midway mark of the period. The Leafs have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. And off the face-off, they take possession. The Leafs carry it along the wall. Fires it on net. And another stop. Puts another on the net. Oh, my goodness. He's on fire and goal. Toronto's up here in the first, and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Toronto's got control of it now from their own end. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Here comes the sentence. Trocek's going off to the box for two minutes. They scored earlier on the power play, James, and it was simple, but it was effective. Why? Because they know the personnel and they know the strengths of their team. And guess what? It's all on the blue line and the way they shoot the puck. And it is hard and it is heavy, but it's about getting the screen in front. Whether it's a flash screen, whether it's a double stack, doesn't matter. They just got to get there and take away the eyes of the goaltender. Zabinijad's team is trailing, and he's out there looking to make a difference for them, guys. One way he can do that is by using his zone ability to get things going offensively. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. 
Matthews moves it into the attacking end. Blocked in traffic. New York's got the puck in the defensive end. Slides it diagonally to Marner. Matthews has an uncanny ability to know exactly where he is on the ice and who is around him. I mean, he stumbles and he's barely able to hold on to the puck with the lack of balance, but he finds the open player who gets a great scoring chance. Shot! And now a stop. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. And they get the puck out and they needed that. Uh, they certainly did. This PK unit has been on fire. They get the clear. That's one. You kill valuable time. That's two. And now three. You can contest the entry. That's a great play all the way around. Goodrose gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. New York's got a hold of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Truba. Fires it into the offensive zone. Quick feed to Domi. Toronto's across the blue line. Centering pass. He scores! What a goal! That's what you call taking advantage of a fortuitous rebound, and you have to be able to smell it and sniff it out because he has great hand-eye coordination to be able to pick that one up and put it in the back of the net. The Leafs have been all over them, and there's still plenty of time left in this first. Goodrose won the draw at center. Dumps it in. Toronto's got possession of the puck. Quick pass to Bertuzzi. Shot! Too much traffic in the lane. The Leafs played along the boards. Great poke check on the reach. Puck scooped up by Goodrow. Dumps it into the O-zone. Benoit's got it in the defensive end. Here they come on the attack. And that one's denied. Scooped up along the wall by Tavares. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Toronto's got the lead here in the first as they have been the more dominant team in the offensive area. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Gets in front of it by laying out. Turn it to the slot. Oh, he had a beat, but it goes off the inside post. My goodness, they are really starting to dial up the pressure here now. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The Leafs are in cruise control, leading it 3-0. New York's going to start with the puck in their own end. Here's a short pass to Riley. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. The Rangers take it across the line. Panarin's got the puck. Receives the pass. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Takes a shot. Big time save. Oh, my goodness. Well, throw technique out the window. This time, it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Here we go. Puck's in deep. Brody's got a hold of the puck behind the net. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Centering feed. And nothing materializes on that chance. Made the stop on the play. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Toronto's controlling the pace of this game, James, right from the puck drop, and you know what that means? It means your opponent's chasing. Handles the pass into the middle of the ice. The Rangers looking against the half wall. Oh, a clutch save! Toronto's got it across the line. Matthews setting up against the wall. And a good solid hit on that play. They score! Four straight goals are rolling now. And talk about confidence. 
Dragons, hey James? I mean, their opponent does not have an answer. They look absolutely stunned. I mean, they are like a freight train just pounding down on them. Well, the key to passing is also knowing the receiver, and he has an uncanny ability to know exactly who he's passing to and the wheelhouse, where they're played, and how they're going to get it off effectively. I mean, he's incredible when it comes to distribution. New York's come up with possession after that neutral zone draw. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. They gain the zone from the left side. Moves it to Marner. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, tremendous save on the play. What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. The Leafs are dominating in almost every facet of the game here in the first. Matthews wins the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. From point blank range, scores! Off the post and in! Well, that's a real sneaky one that fooled the goaltender, James. I had not much room available, but that one, perfectly executed. This goal all comes down to winning the faceoff in the offensive zone, James. Everyone knows their responsibility. It's about making sure they get to the spots that they need to get to and get off a quick release shot. Great goal. More than half the frame has been played here. The Leafs recently extended their lead, and it is a blowout. And they win that draw at center. Kreider's got it against the boards. And he takes the pass. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. New York's got it along the wall. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Giordano's getting called for two minutes here by the officials. Advantage unit is set. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the looks they're looking for. And they get the puck out of harm's way. The Rangers gain control of the puck. Tries to feed it over to Sabinashad. Here's a chance. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. Passes it in front. What a chance, but they can't connect. Blast from the blue line. Steps in with the block. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Nice zone entry from the left. And he loses control here. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Gregor's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Nice job tying up his opponent. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Here's a chance. Oh, my goodness. It stayed out. What a save. It was all the in James and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck. That was on display. Tremendous intensity here in the offensive zone. Shot. What a stop right there. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Trocek's ready for the draw on this man advantage. The Rangers win the faceoff. And they score! On the power play, they make it happen. Power play is perfectly executed, James, but it all starts in the dot. You want to win that face-off because the setup, that's the most difficult part, and then they get all of the options ready that are available to them, and they find a way to attack the net. 
The Rangers get one back, and Cheryl, at least we are reminded that the goal light works at the other end of the ice here. Yeah, it does. It certainly went the other way for most of this first period, and they found a way to paw their way back and get one, but there's going to need a lot more energy and a lot more push that they want to find to make this one a game. New York's got the puck. And a stick breaks that up. Toronto's moving it up the ice. Angles it over to Yarncroft. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Scores! And look who's at it again. Well, it's the second of the game. Too bad you can't bottle these games up and just recall them whenever you want because he's been all around the net. Well, he had his eyes on the puck. He tracked it perfectly and got himself set to position, James. I thought he had it. He got a good chunk of it, but he didn't get it all. Toronto's been the better team here in this first period, and as a result, they've got a big lead. New York's got a hold of the puck off the draw. And he takes the dish. Here he is, he's close! Oh, and it stays out as he gets a piece of that one! And he handles a cross-ice pass. Toronto's gained the line and into the zone. Sends it in on the attack. Moves it quickly over to Nylander. The Leafs move the puck in the defensive zone. Feces got it along the wing. Quick shot! Scores! And look at that wave. Hang on a second here. I do not think that this is going to count. The official waved it off immediately. Oh, boy. change in the score as that goal was waved off and we are ready to drop the puck again and off the draw they win the face off can't keep a hold of the puck after that play and a smart heads up play to put that away by Brzezinski inside the defensive zone moving the puck takes the feed bumped off the puck hangs on to the puck after taking a hit here's a shot can't get it to go. Well, it's a good scoring chance. It's a quick release shot, but unable to convert. Great reach with the poke check. Quick feed to Matthews. Gaining momentum up along the side. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. The Rangers have it now. Quick pass to Offman. Oh, what a stop as he... Oh, he made the save! How no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. Toronto's offense has been on fire to start this one and still lots of time left in the first. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Moves it to Krieger. Handles the pass. Let's see what the officials are calling. You can almost hear the size on the bench as that third penalty within the frame has been called here, James. A tough position as they can't get any rhythm going on their bench. Well, I really like them working off the 1 3 1 sequence that they were successful on earlier, James. It really opens up the ice. So you're using and stretching the entire zone. And listen, there's a lot of ice for the defense to cover. So you can look to the flanks, you can look to the bumper, but a lot of options off of it. Textbook poke check by Lilgren. Feeds it on over to Bertuzzi. Slides it to Yarncroft. Puts it on net. Great save by Shesterkin. The key to being a great goaltender is not giving up second shot opportunities and it's playing the rebounds to the corner. He does an excellent job here. Domi's at the faceoff dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. They put the puck into the offensive end. Here's a short pass to Yarncroke. 
They go on the attack from the left side. Moves it quickly over to Bertuzzi. Shesterkin's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Trocek's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Pass to PC. New York's got it in the offensive zone. And that's knocked away by PC. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Looking to break out here on the power play. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Shot! Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Shesterkin. I love that he swallowed this one up with his glove. It's a th real threat coming from the slot area. No rebound to boot. Sabinajad's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. The Leafs win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And that puck leaves the zone. Trying to gain a step. Denies him on the breakaway. Jones hangs on to the puck to stop the play. Tavares will look to win possession here on the faceoff and try to continue this power play on the right note. New York's got it, and they're on the attack. Here's a shot. They score! Well, how about that? A good defense translates into an even better offense. That's amazing how a PK can deflate or inflate, and that's an inflator. When you get a shorthanded goal, you know that you switch the momentum. How'd you like to play with him? Hey, James, I know that my stats certainly would have elevated. I mean, it's his crisp tape-to-tape -tape passing. When it lands on your stick, you can almost feather it in. He's unbelievable. Sabinajad's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the face-off. Good read by the winger as the two centers tie up. And gets control of the puck once again here in the open ice. Sends the feet in front. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Quick feed to Sabinajad. With possession along the wall. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Tavares. Handles it along the blue line. There's a blocker stop by Shesterkin. And that's knocked away. Works it across to Riley. Panarin's almost out of the box. Denied that one. They are really feeling it now here in the Ozone. Along the half wall. Oh, and that was intercepted. Got a good read on it. And they'll skate it out of the zone. Slittery feed. And that doesn't go as it's off the stick. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Puck picked up by Trocek. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Puck picked up by Matthews. The Leafs will play it for the defensive zone. Quick pass to Tavares. Takes a shot. And that one's turned aside. There's another stop. Lee's out battling his opponent right now. He is so dialed in. He's tracking the puck, making save after save. It's about time this team starts working in front of him. Answered the call there. Offensive zone and a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Nylander. Well, that play didn't go his way, James. He tried a little bit too much there. And when you're trailing a game, I get you want to try and do a little bit extra and try and create some offense, but unfortunately, that didn't work out. Moves the puck. New York's crossed the line and on the attack. Stoppage in play, offside the call. Toronto's taken advantage of their opportunities offensively so far here in this first. More shots, more goals. Benoit's got it in the defensive zone. Moves it to Kemp. The Rangers gain possession in their own end. Feeds the puck to Schneider. To the front! Denied by the puck stopper. Covers it up and will get a stoppage in play. The Leafs have controlled this game here in the first period. More shots, more goals. Oh, 
And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. The Leafs play it along the boards. Sent into the offensive zone. New York's got a hold of the puck now. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Here's a short pass to Cooley. Denies him with the save. Here's a race for the loose puck. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Picked up along the boards by VC. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. Puck is scooped up here inside the offensive zone by Benino. Dismissed that chance. Here he is. Takes the shot. Oh, what a save on the play. Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about complete and finding a way to get to the puck. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They've really turned it up a notch now. And they come away with possession here on their own end. And they'll skate it out of the zone. Johnson for the puck, and it's knocked away. And that's a smart heads-up play by Jones. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Truba's the leader of this team. And who do you look to when you're down? You find a way to look to your leaders. They create momentum. Everyone jumps on board. This game is not out of reach yet. Toronto's got the win off that draw. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Toronto's in on the offensive attack now. Tries to get the puck over to Offman. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. The Rangers going to work on offense. Grabbed along the board by Lilgren. That'll do it for period number one. We'll drop the puck on the second period in just moments. Face-off here in this second period is about set to go. A one-sided affair thus far. Let's see if anything changes here with the start of the second. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? The Rangers continue to find themselves chasing the game here, James. I mean, you look at the possession numbers. They really haven't had the puck at all, so they're getting worn down right now. Battling for it along the boards. Toronto's looking to break out. Quick pass across to Marner. Up along the wing. Knocked away with the stick by Lindgren. Wheeler is going to play it against the half wall. From the place 99 made famous. The Leafs take possession in the defensive end. Great reach with the stick by Kreider. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. Toronto's offense has come to play in a big way as they dominated both the shots and goal category. New York's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Tries to get it to Panarin. Good defensive effort to poke it away. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. The Leafs have put a lot of pucks on net, and they continue to lead here early in the second. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Puts it on net. Snags with the glove by Jones. Face-off looming as both centers get into position. Tavares, quick on the draw. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. 
Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Panarin's got a lot of flash to his game, in particular with his hands and the ability to manipulate his opponent, but he gets caught on that one and the puck dies on his stick. Slides it diagonally to Lafreniere. And now he moves it to Panarin. And that play's broken up. New York's got the puck along the boards. Tries to feed it over to Miller. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Sends it down low. Toronto's got a hold of the puck. Angles it over to Tavares. Pokes the puck away. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Works it across to Domi. Moves it around along the half wall. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Moves the puck behind the net. Tees him up. Shuts him down. Man, is he ever known for this. When he drops into that butterfly positioning, he makes himself as big as possible. So tough to beat because there is no net available. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Here we go. Look at this. They're really applying the squeeze down with the offensive end. Well, goaltender, he's going to want this one back, James. The thought that he was set to position, just the blast of the shot, it hit him. He got a good chunk of it, but it went in. You can see the frustration in the body language. The Leafs are having a laugh tonight, up by a bunch now. Well, when it's working for you, it's working for you. And you know that the coach loves this as well, because guess what? The entire bench is going to be utilized. They're all in rhythm. Get them all out there. Moves it quickly over to Benino. Good eyes him on the play. Jones has been really effective tonight, really doing his part between the crease. Look at his save percentage. It's high, but his team is executing in front of him, so that makes his job that much more fun when he knows that his team's putting it in on the other end. New York's got it in their own zone. Right through center and into the offensive zone. And that goes off a player. Moves it to the middle. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Yarncrocks crossed the line and gained the zone. The Rangers look to start the transition game. Oh, look at this chance. There's a shot. Save made with the pad. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Here's a chance in front. And that's stopped. Quick pass across to Mulgrim. Puts it on goal. Oh, what a Stop with the kick save. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. Wheeler's so difficult to stop in tight and he's got magic hands, but unfortunately this time it doesn't go his way as he tries to get a little nifty. Sometimes simple is the best way to go. Sends a pass over. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Great defensive effort with the stick. Quick feed to Sabinashad. Makes a save. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Toronto's been the more aggressive team offensively. Look at the shot clock and just look at the score. The Leafs win the draw here in their own end. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. The Leafs have dominated in the shot department here early in the second, and they lead this one. Camps won the draw deep in the defensive zone. From the right side, moves it up ahead. Toss it up in the neutral zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Quick pass to Kemp. Nice zone entry from the middle. The Rangers take it across the blue line. Broken up with a little physicality. Now he takes it over the line. What a steal in his own end. Moves it to Gregor. Feeds it over to Kemp. Slides the puck ahead to Miller. Nice zone entry on the left side. Centering P. Block shot. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Taken along the wall by Vesey. 
Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. Whistle blows, stopping the play. The league is trying to crack down on the cross-checking penalties here, James. He got to eliminate it from the game. It's dangerous, it's reckless, and guess what? He's going to get the two minutes. The power play unit goes right back to work. Power play scored earlier tonight, and that gives you so much confidence heading into this one. You know how you executed the first time. They'll look, be looking for those same openings. Sends it over to Brody. Broken up at center. And now it's taken by Kreider. Played big in the moment there. And he takes a shot. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Man, is he ever quick on his feet, anticipating the play. Excellent reflexes. He's saving his team right now. Matthews and company still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Trocek's won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. Brings the iron, not once, but twice on the play. Scores, and there's another power play goal. Well, practice makes perfect, and you know that they've been working on this in practice. They've got the right personnel. The coaching staff has showed them video of how they want it executed, and they deliver tonight. The Rangers finally get something they can build off of now here in the second. Yeah, and building off is going to be generating more chances. They haven't had many shots on net, and they have to find a way to attack the net if they want to get back in this game. Jomi's won the draw inside the neutral zone. Slides the puck over. Oh, what a stick save! And that's stolen by Jomi. Denies him! Not sure that. He scores! And here's the hat trick and let those shuffles fly! Anytime you get a hat trick, it's a special moment for a player, an athlete here, James. But to do it at home and have all of those caps flying on the ice, it's a pretty special one. Well, good things happen when you put the puck to the net, and this rebound comes right back out to him. But he's tracking, he's sniffing, he's hounding, and he finds the back of the net on the second shot. The Leafs look about as dominant as I have seen them all season here, Cheryl. This period has been unbelievable for them. Yeah, they're dictating pace, and they're dictating the play all over the ice, and then they're executing on their opportunities. It's the reason why they hold the lead. And that's intercepted by Brody. Tripped up on the play, delayed penalty coming up. Here comes the call. I always hated to play in these games. You just came out flat and nothing you did made it better. Now they got to kill off a penalty when they're getting blown out. Real tough game. Face off and another opportunity to take a look at the man advantage unit here. They've already scored on the power play tonight, James, and if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. The coach has got them all ready to go, fired up. They've worked endlessly on this setup, and man, is it working tonight. Handles the puck. Throws it in. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Moves it to the middle. What a chance, but they can't connect. Into the corner of the attacking area. Strong feed from along the boards. He might have a step here. All alone. What a stop on the breakaway. One timer. And there's another stop. That's a fantastic sequence of saves there. James, he was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. Tosses it on to Lindgren. Reaches out and uses the stick. New York's got possession of the puck. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Gains the zone from the right side. Here's a short pass to Marner. Oh, what a stop by Shesterkin. Let's it fly. Close save. How did he get a piece of that? Man, James, he shows incredible quickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. And they'll dump it in. Moves it quickly over to Nylander. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Takes the feed. 
Marner's having himself a game, James. I mean, he's already got a goal. Puck's on his stick and really looking to do some more damage. The Leafs get a hold of the puck along the boards. And he was ready for that save. New York's penalty killers get a hold of it. Sabinejad's lugging the puck. Can't maintain possession after that hit. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Picked up along the wall by Zabinijad. Wheeler's almost ready to get back on the ice. Takes it to the front. And he scores! He put it into his own net. Oh, he's got to be sick to his stomach, James. That's such a deflating goal. He thought he had as he's looking for it. He just pushes it into the net. That's frustrating. The Rangers have got one back, but they need a lot more now. Can they build on this? They have to build on this. They have to be harder on the puck, and they cannot chase the game. They have to find a way to get it on their stick, and when they do, they've got to get shots to net. And that's deflected off someone in front. Takes the feed from his own end. Great vision to see that stretch pass. Scores! And they get one back here. I guess it's something to look at positively, James. I mean, the goal scorer certainly is going to feel happy that they've contributed, but they're going to have to find a way to dig themselves out of this hole, and it's a large one at that. They're going to put their work boots on and try and kick it into high gear if they even want an opportunity to claw their way back in this game. New York's apparently just shown up for this one here, Cheryl. Yeah, they get on the board after being shelled all game. They haven't had many shots on net either, but now they've got to find a way to be aggressive, play physical, and really send a message. The mindset has to change here. Listen, they've got nothing to lose. They might as well go for it and attack. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Puck dumped in. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. Panarin's carrying it ahead. Quick feed down low. Lafreniere is taking the puck behind the net. And sends it just out of reach. And he takes the feed. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. Trocek's really impressed me with that last play, James. I mean, to have the wherewithal to hold on to that puck. I mean, that's tenacity on your way down, falling to the ice and still get the shot off. That's leadership at its best. And he makes that save as well. Well, he has been under siege. I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. Strong defensive effort. Scooped up along the wall by Kemp. New York's gained possession. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Hammers a shot off a stick. Riley stick handling in his own zone. And somehow he hangs on. Quick feed to Fox. Slides the puck across to Goodrow. Driving right to the front. Easily turned aside by Jones. Toronto's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. Domi's won the faceoff. The Leafs take it along the wall. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Brody's picked up a few assists in this game, and his team is leading. I mean, when the puck's on his stick, he's making things happen. His awareness, his ability to thread the needle, it's off the charts tonight. The Leafs have had a lot of jump in their steps since the drop of the puck in this one, and they lead it here in this second period. New York's won the draw. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Levels him with the hit. And that doesn't reach the net. And he takes the feed. From center, they get into the attacking area. Taken by Matthews. Solid check to slow him down. Slides it diagonally to Brodzinski. Carries the puck inside the neutral zone. On the attack along the boards. Quick feed down low. 
Quick pass to Bronzinski. Jones makes the save and hangs on for a stoppage of play. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. And they win the draw here in their own end. The Leafs will play it in their own end. Sends it into the offensive zone. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. Schneider's gaining momentum. The Rangers take it along the wall. Big time stop. Sends the pass over. Scores! And look like that bounced off the defender and into the net. New York's got one back. Now can they get themselves another? They're going to be able to if they do one thing, and that is attack and drive the coverage back. And if you do that, you find ways to get shots through to the net. Tries to get the puck to Sabinashad. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. Comes up with the stop. Moves it to the middle. He scores! What a goal! We get to the shot off the most coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint. Doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home. New York's found some offense, and now they suddenly have made this game a lot more interesting here in the second. And they changed the momentum. You can see it in the body language and the confidence. They've got themselves within striking distance of an even game. The Leafs get a hold of the draw. Slick feed. Along the half wall with the puck. Takes the pass. Hammers the shot. And that's turned aside by Shesterkin. The Rangers gain control of it. They get, he's all alone with the goaltender. He scores! Oh, wow, what a finish. Well, I love that he used his speed and didn't slow down, James. And then it's all about patience and composure, outweighting the goaltender, finding the room and burying it. Coaches and staff always preach that hard work leads to opportunity, and this is an exact case of it, James. Being hard and tenacious on retrieval and then finding an opportunity out of it, that's reward right there. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. The Rangers win the faceoff. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Shot! Grabs him with the glove. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. Tries to feed it over to McCabe. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Smart read by the defender to come up with it. Fires it. And it's denied by the goaltender. New York's got the puck now. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Panarin's made an incredible play right there. I mean, he's stumbling. He looks like he's going to fall almost, but he's off balance, and that's the key. The puck isn't exactly where he wants it, but he still manages to find a way to get a shot off. New York's got the puck at center. Takes it into the slot. Stones him in front. A timely save is everything to your team, and this goaltender, he bails his team out. Receives the pass. The Leafs carry it along the wall. Here's a pass down low. Moves it to Kemp. The Leafs gain control of the puck. 
Let's it fly! And that's a critically important well, that puck is on and off his stick in a hurry and it needs to be from that low zone slot area James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast Toronto's rolling now having taken a one goal lead here in the second well yeah they gotta be a wave of momentum that continues to push and press now James as they seem to have control of the game right now they can't give any momentum back to their opponent Kane's the zone Here's a short pass to Fox. The Rangers scoop it up along the boards. Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. Odd man rush. Matthews plays the puck. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Jostles for the puck, but still hangs on. Hiles taking it from his own end. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Important task for the PKers ahead of them, up by one, and a real opportunity to protect it. The Rangers once again send out their power play unit. Power plays are a funny thing, especially when you're down by one, James. You have to act as if you are the hunter, and you have to possess that puck and attack. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. The Rangers have it now. And he gives it over to Vesey. He carries the puck up along the wing. Good heads-up defensive play as he extends the stick. And that caroms off a body in traffic. Grabs the puck here in their own end. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. New York's got the puck. Up the neutral zone now. Grabs the puck at center. Feces been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. And let's see what the call is. This is a tough situation to be in. You're frustrated. You've taken your third penalty of the period. you got to kill it, reset, and find a way to push on. Panarin's team is trailing and he's out there looking to make a difference for them guys one way he can do that is by using his zone ability to get things going offensively and they'll start with possession here's the pass and he denies that great opportunity there moves it quickly over to Kreider they are swarming around Bees here in the Ozone. Take it along the boards. They have really got the cycle going on here. And they've got it in their own end here. D picks it up. They are under pressure here. All sorts of pressure as they try to clear. And they get it out of the zone and finally relieve the pressure. Quick feed to Kreider. Jabs the puck away. Trying to clear. They get it done. Angles it over to Kreider. Poked away in the neutral zone by Kent. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. They clear the zone. Picked up along the boards by Gustafson. Works it across to Kreider. The Rangers played along the boards. Oh, what a save with the glove by Jones. Everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. Toronto's got it in the defensive zone. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And they clear the zone, and that'll shave some time off. A great sequence by the PK unit. Really aggressive, close quickly on the puck, and they get it down the ice. Quick pass to Fox. Riley's penalty has expired, but they remain short-handed, and he joins the kill. Nice speed at center, moves up ahead now. Dumps it in. The Rangers have it now. 
This power play only has time for one more rush. They'll have to play with urgency and not just skate the puck, but move it fast. The Leafs move it ahead. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Moves it to VC. And he takes the pass. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Nice play, shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Good clearing attempt to breathe. The Leafs maintain that one goal lead thanks to a solid effort by the penalty killers. Well, when you have the player advantage and you're down by a goal, you have to generate some momentum. And the first stop is putting it in the back of the net. And now they're back at even strength, trying to get back on the board. The Leafs have been the better team through the better part of two periods now as they lead it late in this second. Toronto's got possession here in their own end. Just a little too much. Scores! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to evens, James. I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. Well, they get the equalizer, James, and really they've been rewarded for their efforts. They got down in this game, but they continue to chip away press, and now they find themselves at evens. The Rangers have set this up to be a dramatic one tonight. They put themselves in a good position here at the end of the second period. Listen, it ain't easy to get goals in this game, but they got the equalizer, and it's a nice step heading into the third period. Here's a short pass to Truba. Moves inside! Decides to think about it. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Poked away by Miller. And the puck's booted away. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by McCabe. Knocked away by Lafreniere. Benoit's got the puck now in his own end. Toronto's in transition. And they send it right back to him. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Trying a nifty move when you have good hands. Sometimes it works, sometimes you get denied, and that's what happened there. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Toronto's got the puck. And he takes the dish. Quick shot! And scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. My opinion, these are the types of goals that eventually win championships. The hard-nosed playing, the grit and the tenacity to fight for those rebounds. It ain't pretty, but it gets the job done. The Leafs pick up the all-important lead here as we inch closer and closer towards the second intermission. Well, any time you score on the back half of a period, it certainly creates some much-needed momentum. Momentum that you want to carry forward to the intermission, and you can have a lengthy conversation about it and start the third with a bang. Sabinejad's got it in the defensive end. Passes on over to Wheeler. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. And offside will get a reset here. The Leafs have generated plenty of quality scoring chances and a big reason why they lead late in the second period. Tavares wins it. Puck grab by Brody. Backtracks with possession back inside the defensive zone. Into the offensive end now. The Rangers have it from their own end. Schneider's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Cut into the front of the net. Fantastic save. Oh, these home fans have had enough. They're wondering when a call's going the opposite way here, Cheryl. You can hear the frustration right now with that third call in a row, I might add, James. I mean, this is a one-sided game, isn't it? Unbelievable. New York's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Well, they create a power play opportunity with hard work, and now it's an opportunity to get back in this game, James. Finding a way to move the puck quickly and create seams to get shots on that. Makes the save. What a reaction with the blocker. Makes a move, and the puck hops away from him. Gets a glove on it to make the save. 
Casey's got the puck in his own zone. Moves it quickly over to Brodzinski. Fires it on net. Oh, and it goes off his glove. Back at the point, they set it up. Center into the middle. And a new pass. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. They're all over the puck here, James. Hold on a second, James. There's going to be a call on this as you see the official signaling a penalty. The end of a period in a tight game and you take a penalty. Well, the PK unit, they've got to do a job and get you to the intermission. The Rangers with a five on three and they've got loads of time to work with here. In a five on three, you have advantages all over the ice in the offensive zone, but you still can move. You can move and isolate players. When you do this, you create movement, more opportunity. That's exactly what you have to do. Oh, another great save right there. They made some consecutive saves there. He's got to be wondering where his defense are. I mean, how about a little help? And the home side scores! They've tied it up. Opportunity knocking, and they take advantage on the power play. Well, you spend so much time in practice working on it because you want to have different layers to throw off the PK units, and I thought they did a real effective job of reading what they were giving, and then they were able to bury it. Wow, when the puck is on his stick, he's like a puppeteer, isn't he? He knows how to manipulate everyone on the ice, and while he's doing it, he's scanning. So he's making sure he knows where everyone is, and then he opens up the lane, the one that he wants, the one that he directed, because he directed that traffic, and he finds it. I mean, his tape-to-tape -tape passing is incredible. Matthew slides into the face-off dot, and they'll continue to try to kill off this penalty. Trocek's gained possession inside the neutral zone. New York's got the puck against the half wall. Breaks up the pass on the defensive zone. Toronto's on the attack. Here's a centering pass. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Fires it into the offensive zone. Matthews moves the puck. Toronto's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Loose puck battle along the boards. Second intermission approaching quickly here. Quick feed to Fox. Into the offensive zone. Sends the pass in front. And that chance is blocked. Quick pass to Sabinashad. And that goes off the glove and will play on. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. Brzezinski's at the face off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Camps won the draw here in the defensive zone. Dished on over to Lilgren. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Takes a shot, and that goes off a body. Along the right wall, and into the offensive end. Denies him! Jones takes away an excellent scoring chance. He certainly looks dialed in, playing extremely well. Wax it into the offensive zone. Great pressure on the offensive end by Yarncroak. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Scores! It's a power play goal! Well, that's perfect execution. You have that player advantage. You gotta use it. They did it. Now they're ahead. Oh, he burns the goaltender on that one. Picks up the rebound and buries it home. Goalie looks frustrated now. James knows that you gotta redirect that puck to a safe spot. The Rangers pick up the all-important go-ahead goal late here in period number two. Well, you're always cutting periods into five-minute increments, and this is the one that they wanted to score in, James, because it creates momentum, momentum that they can carry forward to the intermission. Shot, and he hangs on just as time runs out. And that brings the period to an end. All right, third period just around the corner. We'll get a clean sheet of ice. I'm going to get more popcorn, and we're coming back with much more next. Opening face-off for period number three is ready to go. Here we go. We're underway in the third. Everybody having fun getting in on the offensive action. 
two-thirds of the way to the finish line and this one for regulation time Cheryl how do you view it New York's power play has been excellent James and it's the reason they're leading in this game you got to create you got to carry momentum when you're on it and these specialty teams have been so effective in this game a little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck Sabanajad's trying to get a little too fancy with the puck there and as a result he loses it pushes it across to Fox takes the feed Oh, and he whiffs. Looks to get the puck over to Matthews. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Tremendous reflexes as he makes the one-timer save. <laughs> Toronto's been the better team but not necessarily boasting the better goaltender trailing early in the third. New York's won the defensive zone draw. Quick pass across to Panarin. New York's got it into the offensive zone. Grabbed along the boards by Panarin. Bertuzzi's got a hold of the puck behind his own cage. Poked away by Trocek. New York's got the puck along the boards. The Rangers look to start the transition game. Looks to make a play over to Trocek. From the open ice, they gain the line. To his teammate. Moves behind the net. Great stick work as he pokes it away. And that's intercepted by Brody. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Slips a pass in front. And that's intercepted. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. And in the middle of the neutral zone. The Rangers gain possession in their own end. Through center. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Yarncroft. Puts it in deep. The Rangers get a hold of the puck along the boards. New York's looking to break out. Puck scooped up by Yarncroft. Handles the pass. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Cooley. There's the whistle. We've got an offside. Officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. Jomi's won the draw. Let's see what they can do with possession. Moves it to Benoit. Moves the puck. They've got numbers here. Here's a shot. Oh, and he comes up with a big stop there. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. The Leafs need to start finishing their chances as they trail here in this third period. The Rangers win the draw. Quick pass to Wheeler. Moves it to Kreider. Sends a pass over. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Toronto's on the attack. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. Still has possession. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Makes a move in front. Here's a short pass to McCabe. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. The Rangers gain possession. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender a task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Blocked in front. Gregor is moving the puck through his own zone. Marner's back on the ice exactly where the coach wants him. He's been the go-to guy in this game multiple points so far. Broken up with a stick in the defensive zone. The Rangers will play it from the defensive zone. Shot! That's gloved by Jones. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. 
Officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. The Leafs win it in the defensive zone. Moves the puck to Giordano. Moves it quickly over to Matthews. Couldn't catch up to that pass. New York's got the puck in the defensive end. Gets the puck in deep. The Leafs have it against the wall. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Takes a shot. And that goes off course off a body. Poked away in the offensive end. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Breakaway! Stopped on the breakaway! What a save he made there! Well, I loved how he challenged the shooter on this, James. He didn't... Scores! And he puts home his own rebound! Well, this is a second effort, and everyone on the bench erupts when he scores this goal, James. Why? Because he's tenacious on the play. He doesn't just shoot the puck. He finds his own rebound, and then he puts it in. That's a great play. The Rangers pick up right where they left off. And look at this, a quick goal here to go up in the third. Yeah, and that's deflating for their opponent. You can see it in the body language. And that's also a signal to them that they need to continue to press attack while they're down. Here's a chance. Big time stop. He really owns the crease when he drops into that butterfly positioning. And for the shooter, I think it's intimidating. He makes himself as big as possible. And everyone knows he's athletic to boot. Toronto's playing the puck from the blue line. New York's gained possession. Takes the cross-ice pass. The Rangers take the puck through the neutral zone. Here's a chance in front. Turn that one aside. Slides the puck over. Quick feed to Bertuzzi. Grabs the puck in the slot. Quick pass to Goodrow. Poked away at center by Nylander. New York's regained possession of the puck. Denies him with the save. Moves it to Lafreniere. Goalie with the stop. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. Camps won the draw inside his own end. From off the wall and onto a stick. A chance in front! Great defensive heads-up play to pick it off. Feces got it along the boards. The Rangers played along the wing. Here's a short pass to Goodrow. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save! He gloved that one! Toronto's taken possession in their own end. Slides it diagonally to McCabe. Gaining momentum along the wing. Here's a shot, and he easily stops that one. Pass back to the point. Oh, and another big stop. They are really pouring on the pressure here. Shesterkin's got the puck. He's going to hang on for a whistle and slow things down. Well, he's been shelled, hasn't he, James? He's weathered every storm that's been thrown at him, and now he elects to pounce on this puck. It's a nice, safe play. He anticipates well, and he holds on for the whistle. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. Good battle along the boards for the puck. The Leafs gain control of the puck. Handles the puck. Dumps the puck in. New York's got the puck in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Sabinashad. And now he tries to get it across to Kreider. Takes a bump but hangs on to the puck. Quick feed to Kreider. And that goes off a player in front. Denied by the goaltender. The Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. Moves it over to Yarncroak. Through the neutral zone and along the boards. Here they come. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Gustafson. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. The Rangers take it across the line. 
The Leafs gain possession along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Lilgren. Looking for space inside the D zone. And that pass goes off a stick. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Centering pass in front. And that's intercepted. Lafreniere's lugging the puck. New York's got it along the wall. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Takes the feed from the left side. Quick pass to Giordano. Toronto's moving it up the ice. From the neutral zone now. Into the corner now. And that's intercepted by Trocek. Through the neutral zone, up along the wing. Puts it on net. Oh, he stopped it. What a save on the play. And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. And these fans are still buzzing about what we just saw. What a save that was, Cheryl. Yeah, he made an incredible save and really engaged this fan base. They're on their feet. You know they're right into the game. And listen, when they are showing you that kind of appreciation, you also want to play for them. And yet another penalty is called. So out comes the PK unit. And you know what? They are taxed. They are worn down. If this continues, it's all going to backfire. Toronto's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Power play that really hasn't been great tonight, James. You always expect, or the fans do, the coaches, the staff, always look at it about an opportunity. But the reality is, you're never at 100%. Hammers a shot. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And the puck clears the zone. That's why you want players with active sticks on your PK, James. They can close quickly and they can corral the puck and just fire it down the ice. Battle along the wall. Moves it to Matthews. Centering pass. Another pass. And he denies that great opportunity there. Toronto's got possession of the puck. Back to the blue line. Takes the feed. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. And this one has really put the pressure on now. They have really got the cycle going now. Gets it right back. And there's a hit with a little violence. Oh, nice save right there. And there's the whistle as the goaltender will hang on for a much-needed stoppage. Power play continues, and they'll look to set up here with this offensive zone draw. Well, they need to take advantage of the moment, not just the power play, but they're up against a fatigued goaltender who is not moving as well in his crease. Off the face, off, they take the puck. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And the puck is cleared. Well, you can see the entire PK unit. Their heads are on a swivel, straight line skating, and they're able to get that puck. And because they're looking and aware, they're able to find the white ice and get it 200 feet down. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the face-off. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. And he takes the feed. Oh, what a save in front! Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better is that he redirects the puck to the corner to safety. Toronto's got it across the line. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Here's a short pass to Bertuzzi. And now it's grabbed by Domi. He scores! Well, who needs the ice cream cake when you snipe on your own birthday? Yeah, it would have been seafood for me, but I certainly know that if my grandparents were in the building, it would have been 10 bucks when I was a kid. <laughs> Toronto's goal has suddenly tightened the gap here in period number three. Well, they're within one, James, and it's not enough right now, so they're going to have to continue to counter, transition quickly, but most importantly, retrieve the puck. That is critical to be able to possess it. Slides it on over to Cooley. They go on the attack from the left side. We got a whistle offside the call. Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. Puck 
Davis drop and play resumes. With possession along the wall. Takes the feed at the point. Moves it quickly over to Cooley. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. And just like that comes up with the puck. Great little flick of the stick. Gains the zone from the right side. Sends the feed in front. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Cuts to the paint. Oh, what a play to give up the body on the block. When your team's leading in the third period, it's those types of plays that get you the recognition. You're sacrificing your body to take away the shot lane. That's great work. Let's it fly. Comes up with a big time glove save. The Rangers will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Jones has it and freezes the play. The Leafs start with the puck in their own end. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Quick feed to Cooley. Great heads up play in the defensive zone. Toronto's got the puck against the boards. Here's a chance behind the net. And he takes the feed. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Gains the zone from the right. Quick pass to Trocek. Huge steal in his own end. And that's deflected. The Rangers scoop it up along the boards. Scores! It's in the back of the net! That's a great shot, James. The goaltender's in a solid position, but that low stick side shot, that's a difficult one to stop. The Rangers are sitting pretty here in this third period, now holding down a two-goal lead. Nice spot to be in, Cheryl. Yeah, the perfect spot to be in when you have a two-goal cushion back half of the third period. I think you're enjoying it, but the reality of it is you can expect to push. So it's all about game management right now. Know where you are, make good blue line decisions, and make sure you're not, not doing anything risky with the puck. Well, the game certainly isn't predictable, is it, James? As it's going back and forth, goals from all areas as players shoot from all angles and attack the zone. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Oh, to the nice scores! They came, they saw, they took advantage of the rebound and scored. That's what you call taking advantage of a fortuitous rebound, and you have to be able to smell it and sniff it out because he has great hand-eye coordination to be able to pick that one up and put it in the back of the net. Toronto's got one back here in the third, but they still need another. They're going to have to swarm the puck and find a way to retrieve it, and it's shot selection as well. Good opportunities, get to the slot and find a way to convert. And they win that neutral zone draw. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Lafreniere is such a great player, James. He's got great hands and in-tight skill, but just that extra move there, it's a tricky one, and he gets lost in it. The Leafs get a hold of it. Nice dish from the left wing. Riley's already got three points in this game, James, really leading the way offensively, and you have to wonder how many more he's going to get if he continues to handle the puck the way he is. Along the half wall with the puck. Denies him. He got all of it. Here's a chance. Scores. They tied it up. And we are back to even. Well, working hard. Sticking to the game plan with good habits. And they're back to evens. This is the type of player that you want on your team. You want on your line, Jane. There's no question about it. Because you know that if you just get available, he's going to find a way to open up a lane for you. That's how good his hands are. 
Toronto's made this anybody's hockey game now. We are all tied just the way we love it, Cheryl. Yeah, everyone loves it in the building. I mean, the energy that it's created and the buzz. You can see everyone on the bench. They were up cheering, and this is the momentum switch in the game. This face-off is critical. You want possession. You want to continue to drive the pace and put them on their heels. What a steal in his own end. Made the stop on the play. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Gets the puck in deep. And he can't hang on after that hit. And he hangs on to the puck. Oh, on the play! Wow! Oh, that's a true competitor's save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. And the puck's not loose. Great use of the stick at center by Giordano. The Rangers have it now. Tries to feed it over to Offman. front. Goaltender covers up and will get a face-off. Centers are set. Face-off ready to resume play. Toronto's going to start with the puck in their own end. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Moves it to Tavares. Sends the pass over. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Shesterkin's got it, and he's going to hang on as we get a whistle. Well, he's been dialed in right from puck drop, and he has been under siege, James. Nice job to hold on to that puck. Now they can hit the reset button. Nice job tying up his opponent. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Rips it on net. Swats at it with the glove and got just enough of it. Here's a blast. Stars. And we take a drive to Clutch City as they take the lead. Well, the lead is in their hands, and now it's about building off of that. Good shift management, dictating pace, controlling the offensive zone. Everything now is on the line. Well, it's not often that shots beat the goaltender clean from distance, James, but it's all about finding that lane and then getting all of it on it. This one had seeing eyes and makes its way to the back of the net. Toronto's taken a one-goal lead here in period number three. Well, yeah, and it's a critical time here, James. They've got the go-ahead goal now, and some of the teams will say, play safe, not me. I'm about having the puck. Stay aggressive, stay on your toes, make them play on their heels. Tavares wins it inside the neutral zone. The Leafs looking against the half wall. Truma's taking the puck now here inside his own territory. The Leafs take possession in the defensive end. Angles it over to Bertuzzi. Great read by Hoffman. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Jones. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. The Rangers take possession off the faceoff. Poked away in the offensive zone by Gustafson. The Rangers going to work on offense. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Bertuzzi. Here we go, on man rush. And that's poked away by Schneider. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. The Leafs take over on possession. Here they come. Poked away at center by Gustafson. Here's a short pass to Kemp. New York's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Cooley. Gaining momentum up along the side. A chance in front, and that's stopped. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. The Leafs have been relentless in the offensive zone tonight, and they continue to lead in the third. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Moves it over to Lafreniere. The Rangers take it along the wall. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Jones. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high-danger area. Stones up with the blocker. I love this save.
save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. Net is knocked off. We'll get a face-off here. Carlin's got the answer as to who had the better night. Fox has had a great showing, and you can see it on the score sheet, guys. He even used his zone ability to help get him there. The Rangers win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Just wide. New York's been strong offensively throughout this game, just haven't been rewarded. They've had a ton of scoring chances, but a missed shot trailing in the third period. You've got to find the net, and that's something they need to do better if they want to convert. The Rangers have it now. Works it across to Lafreniere. Picked up along the wall by Lindgren. Toronto's got the puck along the boards. Goes right to the crease. Oh, it's denied by Shesterkin. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Kreider's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Taken by Kreider. Quick feed to Fox. Riley's got it in the defensive end. Toronto's got the puck against the half wall. And that's a smart heads up play by Miller. But you play the game differently depending on the situation. And when you're up, you got to know it. And you got to game manage and you got to puck manage. That turnover, coach isn't going to like that one at all. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Toronto's offense, the story tonight as they lead it here in this third period. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. The Leafs carry it along the wall. Oh, talk about brutal timing with the stick. Uh, and this is so frustrating, James. You work hard to get to these spots, these positions, and then what happens? Your stick crumbles in two. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. Off the draw, they take possession. Takes a shot. Turned aside with a glove by Shesterkin. I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Some last-second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Quick pass to Trocek. On the attack along the boards. In close! Point blank stop by Jones. Big time defensive play. Looking to set up offensively. Sends it in deep. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Moves it to Marner. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Moves it to the middle. He scores! What a goal! Some goalies have cat-like reflexes, and tonight he's just a little slower, James, to get across, and unfortunately it hits him. He doesn't get all of it, and it winds up in the back of the net. The Leafs have been the busier team in the shot department, and they lead it late in this third period. Sabinijad's won the draw at center. Here's a short pass to Wheeler. Moves the puck along the half wall. Great poke check on the reach. Puck picked up by Nylander. Takes it to the front. And he's peeling off to regroup. Sabinijad stick handling in his own zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Here's a shot, and he comes up with a stop there. Slides the puck to Wheeler. Here they come on the attack. Shot, oh, an unbelievable stop by 
Mike Jones. Let's it rip. Too much congestion in front. From against the wall, it's centered out. Here's a shot. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Three four check by Wheeler. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Lilgren. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Fires it. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. The centermen glide into position. Toronto's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Great reach with the poke check. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Slick feed. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Goodrow. Can't keep a hold of it. Sends one up to VC. Matthews plays the puck. Let's it go. Oh, great glove saved by Shesterkin. The Leafs haven't stopped putting pucks on net, and they lead it here late in the third. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. Stop that one. From the boards, he takes it a pass. Trying to get back on the attack now. New York's moving it along the wing. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Quick pass across to Domi. He carries the puck up along the wing. Quick shot! And he gets in front of that. Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. New York's won the draw. Takes the pass. Panarin's got the puck. Fires it on net. Oh, what a denial by Jones. Hammers it on net. Oh, what a save on the play. Whoa. He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. A goaltender, they have to have talent. They have to have mobility. They have to be able to track the puck, but they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot, and that's exactly what happens here. Out battling, out willing, and you make the save. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Quick feed to Truba. Turns it away on the slap shot. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Final seconds of this one, and the home fans certainly appreciate that they got their money's worth tonight. Good defensive stop with the poke check. And that'll close the book on this one as the final horn sounds. Toronto's quick start, the difference in this one, Cheryl. Yeah, but the last 40 minutes, boring. And sometimes that can lull you to sleep as you find a way to protect the lead. But man, they're lucky that they didn't get bitten, that they didn't really generate any offense after the first. And the fans are getting loud once again to salute the Warriors here, Cheryl. Well, yeah, this is a lot of fun. I mean, this is the connection that you see between the fan base and their team, and it's a tradition, right? You come out on the ice, and you want to salute them and say thank you for providing energy throughout the game. Thanks so much for joining us. We had a great time. Hope you did, too. For all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski. Good night.